The first step in growing a rental portfolio that will eventually make you financially free is buying a distressed house at a deep discount. And believe it or not, even in today's market, you can find distressed houses. You just have to know where to look. Welcome to part two of a six part series going over the Burrs method and how you can create financial freedom without using any of your own money with the faster freedom framework. And if you watched the last video, you know I'm giving away a mentorship worth several thousand dollars. So stick around to the end. I'll show you how you can enter and get a chance to win it. The very first step to buying your rental portfolio and to getting into real estate with the Burrs method is buying a distressed property at a discount. Two key words there, distressed and discount. The only way you're going to buy houses cheap enough so that you don't have to use any of your own money is getting them at a discount because they're distressed. In this video, I'm going to go over ways to do that, but you need to understand that if you don't want to use any of your own money, you have to buy deals deep enough so that there's equity. Equity is the difference between what you're going to owe on the property and what it's worth. The market's crazy hot right now, so it's really, really hard to find houses at discounts that are in really good shape because everyone's buying them because there's not enough supply out there. So what you need to do is you need to understand where to look to find houses that are distressed. Because if a house is distressed and needs work, you can usually get it at a deep enough discount to add value by fixing it up and then getting it rented and getting all your money back with the cash out refinance. We're going to go over what all that means in detail in this series, but the first step and what I want to talk about in this video is buying that house at a discount. Now there's over 30 ways that I know and that we use to buy 250 houses a year. I talk about all 30 of them in the mentorship, but for this video's purpose, I'm going to go over the main ones that make most sense for you. I'm going to talk about free ways to get deals and to find discounted properties and a couple cheaper, inexpensive ways to get leads coming in the door so that you can start the process towards building the rental portfolio of your dreams so you can achieve your dreams. Let's talk about a couple different ways to find deals, and then I'm gonna talk about how you fund them without using any of your own money. We are gonna buy over 150 houses this year in our flipping company without spending a dollar in marketing through networking connectors. Our sales team is trained to go out and connect with the right people that come across distressed properties. So we don't really have to do any of the work besides getting to know the right people and talking to them. These people go out and find the deals or come across the deals and then they contact us. So we really just kind of have to sit back and relax and have the deals come to us. Let's talk about the main ways that we do that. Our number one source for finding free leads and free deals is real estate agents. Makes sense, right? Real estate agents come across a lot of properties a year. Most of them are the normal variety house, the house that's retail ready that they list and get multiple offers and it goes over asking. But They do usually come across a few distressed houses, a hoarder house, a house that has foundation issues. You know, one of their um, clients is going through foreclosure or moving and they need to sell the house fast for cash. You know, those wee bugly houses type companies. Those are the type of real estate agents that you need to get to know. A lot of real estate agents don't understand investors, so you're probably going to have to go through a few different ones. So contact all the realtors you know, and then go out and find some. Look them up online or call the billboards that you see or any signs or commercials you see. Call those real estate agents and ask to be put on their buyers list. Tell them you're an investor and explain what you're going to do with the property and explain how you can be the easy button. Like I said earlier, most real estate agents aren't going to call you on their normal properties or you don't even want them to call you on their normal properties. But those couple houses that come across a year that are going to be a pain in the you know what to sell because it's a hoarder house or it's not going to pass inspection or a traditional buyer's not going to buy a house that needs $40,000 worth of work. Most traditional buyers don't have the money to do that. They don't have the knowledge to do that. And they don't want to do that. Just want to buy a house and move into it because they have a family and just want to live. So those houses are a pain to sell unless those agents know investors. So you can be that investor for that agent. You can be that easy button. And like I said, most agents don't come across a ton of these a year, 
but they usually come across a few. So the more agents that know you and get to know you and you get to know them, the more properties you're going to start to come across. Now, this one takes time, of course, but in the next six to 12 months, you can easily get five to 10 real estate agents that understand investors bringing you leads and bringing you deals. This whole thing is a long-term play. You're not going to have this happen overnight. But if you start now and start to get to know real estate agents and have them start to bring you deals, you will start to get on that gravy train, as we call it, and start to get free leads coming to you every single month. And you can kind of grow as many real estate agents, you know, working with you as you want. We usually suggest five to 10 just to kind of keep it simple. So you're not overwhelmed. Our second main source is other wholesalers. Wholesalers are real estate investors or flippers that don't actually flip a property. They get a property under contract to purchase and then rather than close on it and fix it up like you're going to do, they just sell it to you before they close. So they're a great source of leads. They're going out and finding those deals for you. They're spending marketing dollars. They're driving for dollars. They're sending direct mail. They're doing a lot of different things to come across these discounted properties and to talk to these sellers directly. And then they bring the lead to you or other investors. So again, takes time, takes some energy and takes some networking skills. But if you get to know these wholesalers and get on their list or better yet, have them bring you deals before they bring other investors deals, you are going to have more properties than you know what to do with. I kind of say, if you're looking to buy, you know, maybe five to 15 houses a year, just these two sources, real estate agents and wholesalers will be more than enough and they're free. So how do you find these wholesalers? You find them at your local real estate investing meetups. So go to meetup.com or eventbrite.com and find your local real estate investing meetups. Almost everybody's meeting in person again. And you go there and most of the time there's 10, 20, 30 different wholesalers at those meetups. You're not going to connect with everyone. You're not going to want to connect with everyone, but just find a handful and get to know them and get on their good side and they will start bringing you their deals. Also, you can join your local real estate investing Facebook groups. Those are chock full of real estate agents and wholesalers and a ton of different people. Increasingly, those are becoming less and less valuable, but there are good deals on those sites. You just have to kind of sift through a lot of BS to find those deals, but there are deals on those sites. I know several people in my local market that buy three to five houses a year from those Facebook groups and get to know wholesalers on those groups. So go do that. And the last free source that I want to talk about is just networking and getting your name out there and letting people know that you're looking for distressed houses. Post on your Instagram, post on your Facebook group, talk about it at your family gatherings, talk about it when you're out with your friends, just talk about real estate and you will be shocked at how many people will start to bring you deals. We buy five houses a year from a bowling alley owner. We buy houses from insurance agents. We buy houses from mold remediators. We buy houses from attorneys. There's so many different people that come across distressed houses over a year's time. And you know, like I said, not a ton, but if you kind of have your fingers in a bunch of different cookie jars, you're going to come out with a cookie. It's a weird analogy, but we'll go with it. You're going to come out with deals and people are going to start to bring you deals. Maybe that insurance agent will bring you, you know, two or three leads every couple of years. That's okay. It's still worth starting to develop that relationship because it's a free deal. And most people don't want to, or don't have a lot of money to spend in marketing off the bat. One really good way to go out and control your lead flow and spend a little bit of money is driving for dollars. Driving for dollars is simply driving around and looking for distressed properties. Go out and look for houses that look like they're abandoned or need work. Not grass, you know, five, six, seven, eight inches. Grass is a couple feet tall. Maybe the house is boarded up. Maybe there's signs on the front door that's condemned. You know, weeds are growing into the house or there's a, a, you know, a big yellow tarp or a blue tarp on the roof. Just a house that's super distressed that you drive by and can see, you contact the owner. Sometimes the owner lives there. A lot of times they don't. You contact the owner and ask them if they're interested in selling their houses. Sometimes they're not. But if a house has that much work that is needed, it's going to sell to an investor eventually. So just keep up with it and keep top of mind with that seller and you'll have a shot at it. Now you can go out and do that on your own, but a great way to do that is the Deal Machine app. We use it in our business and we buy a ton of houses with it. It's an app that does everything I said, but it does it for you and it streamlines the process. You download the app and you can get a free trial. Why don't you try a free trial? A free seven-day trial with some free deal credits as well as free training by using the code Faster Freedom. So download that app, check it out. They have great, amazing free training that explains it way better than I do, but they basically allow you to be super efficient and effective with the app 
driving around, you know, pinging houses, and then you get the owner's information. You can call them, text them, email them, send them a letter in the mail, whatever it takes to get in front of that owner and see if they're willing to sell their house. Another pretty cheap way to get deals is putting out bandit signs. You know, those signs you see on intersections, those two foot by three foot yellow or white signs that are sometimes printed or handwritten with Sharpie marker, we buy houses, or sometimes they have fun with them, you know, we buy your mom's house or things like that. Those are other wholesalers. And those are also good ways to get leads yourself. So if you want to put out those signs, you will start to get calls. Now, some areas are, you know, a little more lenient. Some areas a little more strict on that. I would not suggest putting your personal cell phone number, maybe an office number or a Google number, but you put those out and you will get calls on those. You can usually get, you know, a couple hundred signs for a couple hundred bucks. So it's not really very hard to do. It doesn't really take much time. There's a ton of websites you can go to that, you know, will print them out and send them to your house, or you can just buy blank ones and write Sharpie on them. A little tip about that is when you see those signs on the side of the roads, those are usually other wholesalers. So take a picture of it if you're stopped and call that person and ask to be put on their buyers list. A great way to kind of build your wholesaler list. So I don't really want to get into too much about funding in this video because I'm going to talk a little bit about it in the refinance video. But know that you don't have to use any of your own money. I have several other videos on this channel that talk about hard money lenders and private money lenders. But just know you can use a hard money lender or a private money lender or I guess your own money if you have it, which most of us don't when we get started, to buy the house. So you're gonna be using somebody else's money to purchase this house in cash. Yes, you're gonna to have to pay them interest, but you're gonna pay that out of the deal on the refinance step that we're gonna talk about in a couple of videos. Just know that now and in the future, you don't have to use any of your own money. And this initial funding source is usually a private money lender or a hard money lender. There are a ton of other ways to find deals. Like I said earlier, that I talk about my mentorship and that I talk about on this channel, but these are some great ways to get you started to go out and find deals for free or find deals for very, very inexpensive. Speaking of the mentorship, I am giving away a free mentorship worth several thousand dollars at the end of this series. This is the second video. There's six videos. In the last video, I'm going to explain how I'm going to announce the winner. But if you want to be entered, you have to watch each video in this series. You have to be subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell, like the videos, and comment on them. Pretty simple, four simple steps to win a mentorship worth several thousand dollars that is lifetime access. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.